Uh, we are still monitoring the John Mahama event. So we have somebody on the, on the line. Now we go to Reynolds uh, calling for Mashaman, I believe, on the line for, uh, about President Mahama's speech. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Paul. Did you, did you watch the, uh, the broadcast? Yes, I watched about 30 minutes and I realized there was some things I wasn't expecting uh, a statesman to be saying. Um, something like to accuse the government of lifting the lockdown just for the EC to organize uh, the registration. I don't think that was the main reason why the government lifted the lockdown. I realize he want to engage in some propaganda. So Okay, hold on. Uh, let me, let me get what you are saying clear. You are saying that you were not happy with President Mohammed's allegations in his broadcast that a lockdown yes. was, was lifted so that the Electoral Commission can register for new yes. voters. Did, did you hear yes, President Mahama? That is, did you hear him say yes, that? that is what he said. Yes, did you hear he, President Mahama say it. that? Yes, he said it. He said he is trying to build allegation that that is from a senior government official that by next month, if you will start the registration, which is false. So I realized that um, there was no need for me to continue to read. Again, at least, you should have spent a few time to at least respond to, to the Airbus scandal. But, well, he failed us again. Did any, did any caller ask him questions about the Airbus scandal? Um, it was a tweet and comment. So they pick and choose. They pick and choose which one to ask him. So we tried to ask it online, but um, none of them were Okay, so active. this is Reynolds from uh, Ashama. So your concern is that President Mahama ought not to have made allegations about uh, why the... Um, the lockdown was lifted and ought not to have referred to the voters register. You think that was propaganda. Thank you very much. We want to take a few more calls over the next five to six minutes. And this is Good Evening Ghana is live. We have just walked into the studio at the end, tail end of President Mohammed's broadcast um, to the nation by, via Facebook, also carried live by TV stations across the country. We're asking you to phone the number on the screen and tell us what you think about it. Our first caller says he's disappointed that Mr. Mahama uh, mentioned uh, an allegation about why the lockdown was put up, was, was, um, how, why the lockdown was released, that the allegation that the lockdown may have been released because of the voters register. I have somebody else on the line. Hello, good evening. Hey, good evening. What's your name, please? I'm George. George, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Sakama. Sakaman. So what was your... Did, yes. you watch, did you watch the broadcast? Yes, I did. What was your view? I did. What the hook thing about, tell you. Say that again. Yeah. Yeah, I did. What, what do you think? Tell us your views. I think the, the, the president was right. About what? Said was perfect. No, you thought about, he was right about, about what? About lifting the, lifting the band. No, no, no. I'm saying I, that. Did you, watch, did you watch President Mahama's broadcast? I said yes, I did. Now tell us your view about what President Mahama said. And that's what I'm saying, that what he said was perfect concerning the lifting of the band. Okay, that you agree, with, you agree with President Mahama that the lifting of the band was because of the voters' register. Yes. Okay, that means, right. that means you think the band should not have been lifted. It should have been lifted because the numbers were down. And when the numbers were down, he imposed a band. So when the numbers were down, Okay, but the president... At, at all, because the numbers are increasing. So why should you lift the band? Okay, In any case, why did you put the band? When the numbers were low. Okay, I mean, but MCP President Akufuado... play games with that. But they will not win the election. Uh, president Akufuado said that uh, the reason for lifting the band was that the measures have kept the, the, uh, the rise in check and that they were fully aware of where the, the uh, positive cases were. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Uh, you don't agree with that? I don't agree with that. The president will not be truthful with that. Okay. Yeah, thank you for your view. So you agree with President Mahama? Okay. Thank you for I your did. view. I, I, do, I do agree with President Mahama. Thank you. Thank I you so much. He was right. Thank you so much for your view. Okay, so that's another uh, person agreeing with President Mahama. We have somebody else on the line. Okay, I hear so. Going very thick and fast. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Simon. I'm calling from uh, Newtown. Simon, you are calling from Newtown? 
Yeah. Where do you live? Uh, my name is Simon. Where do you live? I live in Newtown. Okay, you live in Newtown. Did you watch the broadcast by President Mahama? Yes, I do so. Did you watch? Yes. yes. Okay, tell I live us, in Newtown. Tell us what you think about okay. it. Tell us what you think about it. Yeah, what I I think uh, the man was on a course and he tried to educate the Ghanaians this evening. He educated Ghanaians very well concerning uh, what is going on. And I... Okay, what did President yeah. Mohammed say that excited you? Oh, trying to educate Ghanaians concerning concerning the niche issue that they mentioned by now some of the people that are contributors of Sydney should have been enjoying some, I mean, should have been relieved from uh, some of the problems they are facing by some of them, the private sector, some of the uh, workers are at home and they don't have, uh, how do you call it, anything, that, I mean, to take care of their family these days. So if the Senate should have, I mean, government should put something in play. I mean, ask Senate to help them so that the stress that they are, I mean, facing could have been alleviated. So the man spoke very well. And I think he's wrong. And concerning government lifting the ban that he comment about, the government intentionally did this to, I mean, to use this opportunity and then, and then to support and then commissioner. Okay, so you, the do, you, do you agree with the lifting of the ban or not? I did not agree with the lifting. You don't agree with me? Okay. Uh, I, we have a short yeah, time and we have a lot agree. of people on. Yeah. So your view is that President Mahama spoke correctly and I think that's a yes. view that we respect. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, another caller is on the line. Hello. Hello. Yes, good evening. Good evening, Paul. Yes. Uh, so, what's your name, please, and where are you calling from? I'm the mayor of I'm calling from Anka for Samuel. You're calling from? Anka for Samuel. Anka for Samuel. That's in Kumasi? Is that in Kumasi? Um, my name is the mayor of And you're calling, I'm calling from? Anka for Samuel. Anka for Samuel. Anka for. Anka Okay, okay. Anka for. Thank you. Anka for Did you yeah. watch the broadcast? Yeah, of course I watch. What's your impression? Uh, I think um, quite apart from one few of them of which uh, the president could have done better about it. The rest of issues concerning the package from Senate and other stuff is worth mentioning. And I think it's time that the Senate needs to speed up their game to help the Ghanaians. Uh, say that again. It wasn't clear, please. I'm saying that uh, apart from the, like, Broadcasting that he was screaming that the government is not making down to the people. I think the, the government is doing, is doing its best, especially at the information ministry. They are doing their best to help people to understand the key issues that pertain to this COVID-19 issues. Okay, so you think that, you think that contrary yeah, to what President Mahama yeah. said, you think yeah. that contrary to what President Mahama said, the government is doing its best? Yeah, it's doing its best. And we were told that if you look at the various... Uh, uh, for information that the social media has put in place, you see a waste of Kuma coming to tell the people about the plans the government is trying to execute to eradicate the disease. Okay, so did That's President Mahama the say that President Mahama say that the government is not doing his best? Yeah, he said he's not doing his best to educate the people about the disease at all. Okay, and so you you disagree now, with that? Oh, yeah, you, you disagree with that? I disagree strongly. Okay. I disagree, right. but but right. for the. For the package from Senate, that one I agree strongly that they should do. The government should speed up on that one to help the people. Which one? The package of Senate? Yeah, from Senate. Senate. He also mentioned that Senate should uh, help people in time of uh, this situation. Like they should to come out and have some package for the people. And that one I agree strongly. I agree for that the Senate should come on board to help people. At least one month, I was working then at a private school. For three months, I'm told they have never been paid even them. Okay. Uh, so I think I got your point. Uh, we'll have time for two more callers. Uh, so, um, sorry, I'm just looking the other way to find out whether the, the phone line is jammed. Hello? Hello, yes. Okay, what's your name, please? My name is Albert. Albert from Taifa. 
Albert from Taifa, I can hear you loud and clear. What do you think? Did you watch the broadcast? Did you yeah, watch I'm it? watching the broadcast. Did you watch it? Yes. What's your impression? My impression is that most of the things that he's saying, the government has said it already and he's trying to implement it and doing his best. So it was not necessary for him to even make that broadcast. Oh, that's very harsh. <laughs> yes, but the government is also thinking and planning just like the way he is thinking. It's not everything that comes out. So if the fact that he's ma making mention of it does not mean that the government is not thinking in that direction. Most of the things that he's saying, the packages and then what the government is not putting in is best. The government has announced, announced a lot of good packages. They are working on it. It doesn't take one day to build, to, to build room or to implement something. They have to go through some processes and then proceed there before you can get the, those things done because of we are in a democracy. You can't just, even if you say it, it doesn't take a day to implement it. You have to go through the protocol. So the government is working day, day by day to implement those things. That is, that is, doesn't look like he's not, the government is not doing anything. So those, and most of the things that he's talking about, the government has even thought of them already. Okay, but he's former president and he's leader of the opposition. And we're in a free society, democracy. Yes, he has, yes, democracy. But yeah, he can he, speak. When, when somebody when somebody is already planning and thinking to do it, and the fact that you come to say it does not make you take the credit. Okay, continue watching. I'm going to talk to some restaurant owners who are very worried about how COVID-19 has affected their business. Continue watching. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hello. Yes. So let me be your ma'am. Hello. Hello. Yes, hi. I, I am Richard. Richard from where? Uh, from Mataiko. Thank you. Did you watch the broadcast? Yes, I did watch it. What do you have to say? What did I have to say? Yes. I am saying uh, from Mataiko. <coughs> yeah, I did watch it. What do you have to say? I will say that, you know, he said he's a citizen, so he will not be a spectator. Listen, I also watch it critically, and I'm seeing that I see that this, the president, the president is not different from the president is not different from the from the his propagandists. He's not different from them. He is highly disgruntled. You mean the president Mahama is not different from NDC propagandists? Yes, from those who make the propaganda things for him on the televisions and the radios. I see him personally as very disgruntled. You see him as a disgruntled president? As a disgruntled person. That's how I see him. Oh, no, you can't say that the former president is disgruntled. No, I can't say that. No, no, that is your been, view. We, it's, we, it's not we different hear, from Samit we hear don't, Samit No, no, we don't agree with that. Saying, look, no, no, look, no. Omani, 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 the word that he's been saying is exactly what he's been saying. Okay, so but... It's not different from them. Fair enough. My but observation is that he's highly disgruntled. Okay, but those are, not necessary. No, no, those are not your words. Here, at all. here at Good Evening Ghana, we don't agree with I expressing. Said it's not all that he's saying. This broadcast is dif not different from his press conferences. I, I think you made doing. your point. Uh, thank you very much. So, you made your point. Yes, Our view is that you cannot say that point. the former president is this uh, at him. You can't choose that way. It's different from uh, Samit Yenfi. Okay, I've, I've heard you. I, I've heard you. I've heard you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your contribution. Uh, this is Good Evening Ghana is live, and I'm saying that we dissociate ourselves from the calling of names like this grantled upon the former president, John Dramani Mahama. One more phone call is here. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, my name is Mohammed, calling from Wale Wale. Wale Wale in the upper east region? In the northeast region of Ghana. Wale Wale in the northeast. northeast region. I see. Thank you very much for watching yeah, all the way. I watched former president John Mahama. And I, I thought your former president, Mahama, was coming to tell the good people of Ghana how he's going to settle on his running mate and the air pass candor that is surrounding him. But the things he's saying, I, I am not surprised. I'm not flabbergasted because I'm so flabbergasted in a sense that he should have been talking about these key things that is hanging on his neck. But if he's talking about those things, these are decisions that the uh, well think and, and well thought and visionary leader President uh, uh, Namadu is already doing. During his era, uh, Ebola time, what did he do? 
Yeah, but Ebola, Ebola didn't that, come to Ghana. Ghana, to Ghana didn't record any case of Ebola. Please. Pardon me? Ghana did not record any case of Ebola. But Ghana was open as a center for the, for, for the whole of Africa. Yes, correct. So, uh, so it's, it's, it's all that he was saying is propaganda. And this time round, propaganda, I think, cannot win an election in, in December. So he should, he should t try and take Ghanaian serious. If there are two t key things, he should clear himself on that, how he's going to settle on his running mate, and also look at the Airbus scandal that is on his neck. Because the NBC that is leading was built on the, some core principles, that is poverty, accountability, and social justice. That is NBC that is leading. And I want to know whether the reasons they gave in overthrowing uh, former President Liman, that is what is happening. Because okay. he was accused of corruption. I see that you are getting... Time, you we are getting of, into the propaganda. We heard of the Guinea Fowl scandal. I, I can see that you are getting into the propaganda the too. And we heard a lot. So okay. he should try and clear himself. I can yes. see that you are getting... Some of us, we, okay. need, we want him to take us serious. Yes, I think he will. But yes. I see that you're also um, getting into the propaganda as well. But anyway, it's, it's No, allowed. no, no. I'm not going into the propaganda. They have started it. I'm, I, I, my popular name is Aulau. Okay. Thank you very much for yes. Wale Wale. Hello and uh, say good evening. To everyone in Wale Wale from Good Evening Ghana. Thank Sometime, you very much. They're when we are coming here. the elections, we, we will are, bring. We are very descending here in Wale Wale. Okay, we will bring Good Evening Ghana to Wale Wale very soon, yeah? Look out for Thank it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay.